After I collected 100 unique rings from Nightmare and Dario and found quite some SOJs, I was sure this moment will come. I was already sitting on 20 key sets and really needed to farm that torch and Annie, of course, so I decided to do it on one of the streams. I didn't have Beast Rune Ward yet to pump my summoners and also Infinity to improve the chances to hit the Ubers, but still had some ideas how to do it. And of course the first thing to do was to make the Duras Rune Ward for my mercenary because of the chances of open wounds it's a crucial piece for the necro summoner to run ubers. It is Shael, Um, Thul and actually provides 40 FHR, decent resistances, 33% chance of open wounds, really good. Additionally some crushing blow on top, always amazing. And here is the moment, finally we are selling the SOJ. There it is, goes to Charcy and the world goes dark. So now we are ready with our orders to actually fight the Diablo clone. I was a little bit worried in the beginning, but he was actually a joke. Didn't have any chance for us. Just look at this, no problems at all. And finally we had to identify this small charm. And just look at this, 16-20-10. What an amazing roll. Obviously, I didn't need to go for the second attempt. Then we started with Ubers. Duriel was a nightmare. Because you can see, this is a bug. The mercenary does not target him. This is not really a bug, but the problem with the Duriel's threat level and some of the summons AIs do not really target him because of that. I hope Blizzard can fix it because it is really, really painful. On the contrary, any other mini Ubers were not a problem. Ijo was super easy, didn't cause any problems at all. And I was a little bit afraid of the Lilith, but you will see it on yourself. Yeah, there Ijo goes down, not really a big deal at all. Lilith surprisingly was also quite easy. You just need to lure her out, make sure that everything is clear and you don't have amp curse. And then basically, yeah, just make sure that mercenary is hitting her, but not being hit, and then she will die immediately. It takes, of course, a little bit of time, a little bit more than with a smiter, but still, very safe. Ubers themselves, they were actually not so bad except one of them. Mephisto was rather easy, I would say, he didn't cause any problems, even when he spawned or didn't spawn this, his summons. So generally, yeah, you just again, make sure that orders are surrounding him and that mercenary has a hit on him, cast the creepify and he will be done. Diablo was eager to wreck the mercenary and deal a little bit more damage, but still it was not so difficult. I was also using this strategy of constantly casting poison Nova for damage over time that will prevent him regenerating even if my mercenary does not apply open wounds at some point. But as you can see, it was not a problem. And then, Bale. This one really left me angry. <laughs> he was absolutely not wanting to die, seriously. The ghosts that stuck in one place have physical immunity and basically get aggro from your summons really do not help here. It was really, really difficult to kill Bale. But eventually, after like 20 minutes, probably he died. So really, it is very annoying to do without those good rune words. And the first torch was actually 1418 Amazon. Wow, that's actually not too bad. I don't have Amazon yet, but I will make her for sure. And then the second one was identified by Kane, And it is 1118 Necromancer, yes. <laughs> Finally, I got my Necro Torch. This is amazing. And lastly, this is... What it's gonna be? 1117 Sorceress. Nice, really good torch in addition to the Palia head. Thank you for watching, guys.